Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys So again, welcome back guys ano? At uh, ang atin nga uh, gagawin ngayong araw is uh, Solving quadratic equations That are not written in standard form So there are some cases na uh, Quadratic equation pala siya Pero hindi natin na uh, alam at first sight no? Kasi nga, hindi siya nakasulat sa standard form So paano gagawin natin doon? So these are the uh, some techniques ano, to be able to solve for the quadratic equations which are not written into its standard form. So example number one, we have um, number one, ano, sabi dyan, uh, solve for x multiplied by x minus 5 equals 36. So, uh, our example number 1 is in fact a quadratic equation pero hindi siya nakasulat sa standard form. Di ba kasi alam naman natin na ang standard equation ay an, an equation with uh, highest exponent of 2. Di ba? So, at first glance, uh, sasabihin natin na yung uh, exponent ng x natin ay 1 lang. Ano? Kasi 1 exponent nito on exponent nun. So, baka sabihin nyo pa, hindi ito quadratic equation. So, to be able to know if this is a quadratic equation, uh, expand mo yung ating equation. So, alam naman natin that uh, uh, these are two factors, ano, x and x minus 5. So, let us multiply x on the uh, x minus 5 or dun sa ating parenthesis. Okay, so distribute natin x multiplied by x, this is our first step, ano, multiplication. So, x multiplied by x, that is x squared. Then, x multiplied by negative 5, that is negative 5x equals 36. And then, convert mo siya sa uh, standard equation, no, standard form. Paano? By transposing 36 on the left side. So, x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0. So, ito ngayon ay standard form na ng ating quadratic equation. So, using now uh, different methods, we can solve for the quadratic, or the, uh, we can solve for the roots of the given quadratic equation. Okay, paano gagawin natin dyan? So, sabi ko nga, using different methods. So, pwede kang gumamit ng quadratic formula uh, by completing the square or by factoring. So, dito, ang gagamitin ko na lang ay by factoring, ano, since 1 naman yung coefficient ng ating leading term. By uh, factoring, so, uh, hanap tayo ng fac uh, factors ng uh, 36, no, ng negative 36, na kapag inad mo ang sagot ay negative 5. So, we can say negative 5 and, uh, or sorry, negative 9, and then, 4, ano? So, if we multiply negative 9 and 4, the answer is negative 36. Tapos, kapag inad mo ang negative 9 and 4, the answer is negative 5. So, x minus 9, tsaka x plus 4 equals 0. Tama, ano? Negative 9 multiplied by 4, that is negative 36. Negative 9 plus 4, that is negative 5. Alright? So, by... Uh, Zero property, ano? X minus 9 equals 0. Tsaka X plus 4 equals 0. So, meaning, our X sub 1, o, yung ating value, 
Unang value ng x is positive 9. And then yung x sub 2 natin is negative 4. Meaning, ito yung ating final answers. Ano? Roots of uh, 9 and negative 4. So, check natin kung tama yung nakuha nating sagot. Base dun sa ating original equation. So, again, ito yung original equation natin. Checking. Checking. So, unang value ay uh, positive 9. So, palitan natin ito ng 9. 9 minus 5. Uh, 36 ano. So, 9 minus 5 is 4. So, 9 multiplied by 4. That is 36. Ano? So, 36 equals 36. Tama. Then, yung pangalawa is negative 4. So, negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 minus 5 equals 36. So, negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 minus 5, that is negative 9, equals 36. So, negative 4 multiplied by negative 9, that is positive 36, which is equal. So, meaning, tama yung roots na 9 and then negative 4. Right, another example mga kaibigan. Ano? Example number 2. Example number 2. Aha. Uh -huh. Number 2. 6 over x plus x minus 3 all over 4 equals 2. Yan. So again, example number 2 is in fact a quadratic equation but is not written into its standard form. Ano? So again, first step is to uh, transform it into standard form. So paano gagawin natin dyan? By uh, multiplying uh, the whole equation into its LCM or yung least common multiple ng ating denominators. Ito yung denominators natin, di ba? X and 4. So para makancel itong uh, nasa din mga denominators natin, mumultiply natin uh, itong whole equation by the LCM of the denominators. Ano ba ang LCM or yung ating least common multiple? Since walang magkamukha sa kanila, no? isang variable, isang uh, constant, meaning ang LCM natin ay yung product ng dalawa, which is 4x. So, mumultiply natin itong whole equation. Baba ko lang, ano? 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 equals 2. Multiply by the LCM or 4x. Both sides. Okay? So, lahat ito mumultiply natin sa 4x. Okay? Let us multiply. So, 4x multiply by 6 over x. Cancel yung x, ano? Sa isang numerator, isang denominator. So, ang multiply na lang natin ay 4 at saka 6. Okay? So, cancel yung x. So, 4 multiply by 6, that is 24. Plus, 4x multiply by x minus 3 over 4. So, cancel yung 4. x multiply by x, that is x squared. Negative 3 multiply by x, that is negative 3x. Equals, 4x multiply by 2, that is 8x. Combining like terms, so unahin ko na yung x squared, ano? Negative 3x, tapos transpose natin itong positive 8x dun sa kabila. So magiging negative 3x minus 8x plus 24 equals 0. So, again, combining like terms, x squared minus 3, tsaka 8, ano, so, so that is 11x, negative 3x minus 8x, that is negative 11x, plus 24, equals 0. So, again, by factoring, let us solve for the roots. By factoring, since, again, uh, the coefficient of the leading term is only 1, ano, so x, x to, Ano ang factors ng 24 na kapag in mo ang sagot ay negative 11? So clearly, we have negative 8 and negative 3. If we multiply negative 8 sa negative 3, the answer is positive 24. And then if we add negative 8 and negative 3, the answer is negative 11. So negative 8, tsaka negative 3. So again, by uh, zero product property, x minus 8 equals 0. Then, x minus 3 equals 0. So, yung x sub 1 natin is positive 8. 
Yung x sub 2 natin is positive 3. So, these are the values of the roots. Now, let's see if uh, these are correct by checking. Checking. Yan, checking. Check natin ano. Ito yung original equation natin. 6 over, ano yung unang value? 8 ano? Ito, 8, 8. So, 6 over 8 plus 8 minus 3 over 4 equals 2. So, 6 over 8, that is 3 over 4, ano? Plus 8 minus 3, that is 4. Dama ba? Ay, hindi. Sorry. 8 minus 3 is 5, ano? Uh, tama, ano? 5 over 4 equals 2. So, we have two fractions with similar denominators. So, just add the numerators and then copy the denominator. So, 3 plus 5, that is 8. Over 4 equals 2. So, 8 divided by 4, that is 2, no? Equals 2. So, meaning, the answer 8, or the first value of x, which is 8, is correct. Right? So, let us try the uh, second value, which is positive 3, ano? So, 6 over 3 plus uh, 3. Tama ba? 3 minus 3 over 4 equals 2. So, 6 divided by 3, that is 2, ano? Plus, 3 minus 3 is 0. Divide by 4 is 0. So, 0 equals 2. Therefore, 2 equals 2. Meaning, yung ating value na 3 is correct as a root for this example. Okay? So, the final answers are 8 and 3. So, that is how we solve quadratic equations which are not written in standard form. So, those are the steps. Ano? So, aralin nyo na lang yung mga steps and techniques na ginawa natin. Then, you will be able to solve uh, the roots of quadratic equations in which the equation is not written into standard form. Okay? So, ilang mga kaibigan, stay tuned for the next videos na i-release natin. Ano? Sana ay makakatulong muli sa inyo yun. And yun, good luck and God bless mga kaibigan.